From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Welcome, Brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Enough for the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh! So here it stands, people, in all its glory, the next coming project. As it stands 31 inches high by 19 inches across by 20 inches front to back. What D is going to brand as the Super Cube. Now the Super Cube is something that if you are a subscriber, you have been getting a little quick glimpse between videos of it sitting in the man cave. Uh, pardon me for the reflection, but it is something to film now. The Super Cube, as we label in it, is going to be quite the spectacle. It is going to be ultra low tech. Ultra low tech. I'm branding it as a home for some very hard to get species. It's not going to be salt water because I have given the salt water a lot of love. As you can see, I'm in the salt water area there. And I'm going to have these guys. Here it's nighttime, everything is closed up. I'm gonna have these guys here. I'm going to really focus on the 125 upstairs, the main tank, as it has been running for a long time and is ready for a change. But getting back to the cube, that is gonna stay salt. That is gonna be another project for another video. So if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button right now in the upper right and click the bell so that you can get notified when updates and new videos are published. So back to the queue. Now, one of the things about this tank and I'm giving you the shot light of the, uh, of the stone that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using a really, really interesting stone. Um, let me move the light. It's hard to film things down here because I'm in the basement. So just to give you a nice shot, I've been collecting the stone. I've been picking it up anytime I could, buying a piece here from the club, buying a piece there, but really focusing on stone. I'm not going to focus on plants. I'm going to focus on stone and structure. I was really debating what substrate I was going to use for this tank because I'm not going to be fertilizing it. As I said, it's going to be ultra low tech this is a really deep tank and one thing about a deep tank as you can see light from top to bottom is quite the interesting project but that will come at a later date but anyway to have that stone that heavy sit naked on the glass makes d a little nervous so i'm going to actually put a nice cushioning substrate in there probably a similar live sand i'm going to make a mixture of a uh, river rock and sand that will hold the weight of all this stone on the bottom so that is going to be the first interesting fact now what you can leave in the comments below how do you think I should filter this I've been playing around with the really 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 in-depth options I started to actually build something which I'll give you a peek of I was building something similar to a, a weir that you would use salt water. But then I says, man, D, that is going to take up some valuable real estate, probably in the corner. And to have a sump, uh, as you can see, this is my man cave. I got my couch there. I really don't want anything like all over the place. This is going to be more of a self-contained system, similar to what I have on the frag system. I don't want anything running outside of this. So I may have my super size aqua clear hang on the back here, or I may use the Eheim and just run that back there. Uh, but leave your comments below. Uh, let me know what you would use in there, but it's gonna be a rocked out system. As you can see, it's gonna be really awesome. I have a lot of wood. I got a lot of stuff. I got tons of stuff, man artificial plants to start off <laughs> cute but yeah right but anyway this is going to be probably a black water tank that's right i'm going to have some really harder to get species i'm focusing on lots of small fish uh, maybe nano species not neons or cardinals those are not hard to get but I'll keep you posted and I'll drop little hints in the coming videos to come. So make sure you're a subscriber. If you're not, you're going to miss it, baby. So 
that is the foreground of the structure of the tank now on the other note since this is in my man cave it's got to be something that a i can control the lighting b it's going to be quiet and c it's going to be a focal point because anybody that knows me knows i don't like racks of tanks i don't like it to look like a rack of tank all of this stuff is going to be gone my little water change stuff i got my fishing stuff in the corner because i run out and grab my rod and go fishing that stuff's going to be gone but i am a comic collector so it has to a it has to be a piece of art it has to be something to look at um so yeah that's going to be the other thing now lastly it's going to be cold water. I'm not going to have tropical. I'm not laying on the ways of tropical, but it may be a, a somewhat subtropical. I mean, probably it's going to go down to maybe 72, 74 degrees. This is in the basement. I'm not sure whether I'm going to heat it yet. I have a few tanks in which I don't heat, but since this is close to my exit, it may have to get heated. I'm playing around with that, but then again, that is going to depend on the species that occupy the tank. So... I'm going to be building the hood. I'm going to be special lighting is is already in the works for this. Of course, it's got to shine down almost three feet. Most tanks are two feet or 18 inches. This is three foot height, which is even taller than the planted tank. When you guys come over to my house, you know, I got the planted tank with the plants growing out. This is going to be quite the interesting system to filter both because of the height and because depending on the fish that I put in it. So keep a keep a, a lookout. Look for what's coming. It's gonna be really interesting. Leave those comments below. Let me know what you would do with a system like this. And uh let me know if you have anything set up like this already. I'd love to see it. I'd love to check it out. Till next time this is D. I'm gonna start laying the groundwork for what's gonna go in this tank. Love, peace, and hair grease. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm out. See ya.